I'm one of those people who spends a lot of time talking and daydreaming about the world, but I never get involved. Well, this year I'm going to change all that. I got myself a camera and I'm going to make films about stuff that matters. So I was having my lunch the other day and I was just like looking around online for something to read, something to occupy my mind. And I read this article that said that like within a hundred years, Hull could be underwater. Within a hundred years. Like, why have I not heard about this? So I did some looking around online and there's like all these figures about like sea levels rising and global warming. Ah, 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 that, that, that's hot, that's very hot. That I just was totally not aware of. So I'm gonna read some more and try and find out. I found this thing on geology.com that shows you what would happen to the UK with the sea level rise. And you can see just two meters would put loads of hull underwater, which is pretty scary. There's no point messing about, so I'll just go straight to the source of the story that I've read. I'm just gonna call the company that he works for. I will try again in April then. Okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Well, that didn't go great. Uh, he's on annual leave. Plan B. I did a bit more research online and I found another article about what's been done to protect Hull from flooding. It had a few more experts from various agencies and the government explaining what they thought the future for flooding in Hull really is. I guess I better try and contact them as well. Yeah, okay, no problem. So I can't speak to them today at all. I will send an email and hopefully we can set something up off the back of that, okay? Yeah, great. Thank you very much for your time. Okay, have a nice day. I keep getting shut down. Clearly, it's been a bit of a struggle for me to get in touch with these experts. They're either unavailable or on annual leave, but I'm gonna get them later. I'm gonna try and speak to them later. But in the meantime, I thought, well, I'll just go into Hull and I'll speak to normal people. I'll see whether they've been affected by flooding and see whether they're as concerned by it as I am. So there was a report that said that Hull could be underwater within a hundred years due to flooding. Yeah. Is flooding something that you ever worry about? Here? No. It was slightly challenging at first. Excuse me, have you got time to answer a quick no, question on camera? Alright, no worries. No worries. But before long, people started to share some really interesting insights into their own experiences with flooding. I mean, years ago, all oh, this area used to be flooded every year. It flooded in 2007. It's been alright since then. Home hasn't been affected but I was affected with the fact that I had to go and rescue my mother from Beverly. So up to where? Getting the, getting the boats out. The houses near us flooded. Ours didn't, but quite a few of us, my auntie and everyone had to move out into her cells and stuff like that. A lot of people were out of the home for over a year. 30 yards around the corner, as well unfortunately that lad lost his life, so it was pretty horrific. Yeah. You know, it hit home really, well, really quickly, and so yeah, it's a huge concern for us. My uh, girlfriend's mum's house got flooded in Kingswood. I don't worry about it, really. I live near the docks, so it, it can get quite quite bad and windy, and like, all the rain and floods, so a bit, yeah. A lot of places on the east coast, south of Hornsea, are already crumbling. I mean, well, 100, 100 years of that. It's, on, it's only, only a matter kids, of time. So, uh, Enjoy uh, Hull while it lasts. Yeah. I mean, look, I don't know if Hull will be underwater in a hundred years. I know that we've got a tidal surge barrier and that there are flood defences around the city. I still feel like I've not quite got to the bottom of all this. I still need more information to know if this is a thing that can actually happen, if I should really be worrying about it. But what this whole experience has done is inspire me. If there's something that I care about, that I want to know more about, well, that's within my power. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep making films about stuff that matters.